I made Elden Ring run at 200% speed. That means every attack, every movement, every animation happens twice as fast. And you may be thinking, this can't be that hard. Sure, the enemies move fast, but so does the player character. But no, I have to react to every move in half the time, on top of that, anything that needs to be timed correctly, like dodges, has much less margin for error because the immunity frames are cut in half. Also, to make it a little more interesting, I'm going to be using only melee attacks. Make sure to subscribe to not miss runs like this in the future and follow me on Twitch to watch live. Thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. I'm sure you've already heard of this team building RPG with PvE battles, dungeons, and boss fights, as well as global PvP matches to gain all of the glory. But if you haven't, you can download today using my QR code or the links in the description on both PC and mobile. This year, Raid is celebrating its third year anniversary, so to honor that, we're going to be doing a top three reasons to play Raid. One, this game looks great. It's a mobile game that still manages to hold its own and look impressive while playing on PC. Two, there's over 600 champions to slot into your team, leading to almost endless combinations to take on the game's hardest challenges. And three, the raid devs are very engaged and often generous running events that enable you to fast track your progression towards the end game. One of those events is happening right now. Ultimate Death Knight, a super powered version of a fan favorite champion is available to everyone for free. All you have to do is log in and play raid once per day for seven days between now and October 27th. On top of that, you can use promo code DKRISES for a bunch of free items to instantly level your new strongest champion all the way up to level 50 with five star ascension. But that's not all. Raid has added a new dungeon called the Iron Twins Fortress, and if you're strong enough to get through it, you can now awaken your champions, allowing them to choose a powerful blessing to help them in combat. New players, use my link or scan the QR code on screen and get a free starter pack worth almost $30, a free champion Aina, and this in-game loot. You can download today using my QR code or the links in the description on both PC and mobile. I don't know how reasonable this is, but I'm going to try to do melee. I don't need to ask you who to make. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that's Sanic right there, dog. Oh, God. I'm zooming, dude. Absolutely fucking zooming it. This run is going to require different strategies than I normally use, but to start, I grab some universal items like the Physic and Dectish medallions, while also picking up items along the way like the Charged Attack Tear, Talisman, and Radigan Sorcery. Then I needed to experiment to figure out how I would even be able to do this challenge. It turns out, on double game speed, reacting to enemy attacks is essentially impossible. So all of my muscle memory and skills to dodge all enemy attacks that I've built up over a thousand hours of playing are useless. So if I wanted to stay in melee range and still be able to beat the run, I would need to use shield strats. If you didn't know, thrusting weapons like spears and rapiers can attack while blocking, enabling me to mitigate damage without using rolls because the attacks are just too fast to react to. And with that in mind, I gathered the ant spur rapier because it applies scarlet rot, which will apply and tick twice as fast because the game speed is twice as fast. And I gathered the jellyfish shield because it was easy to get and didn't have super high stat requirements. I also picked up the dexterity tier while in Liernia before going back to face target. Yeah! Fuck. Okay. He does holy damage. Occasionally. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. It, it doesn't matter that I know how to dodge the moves because the timing is entirely different. Fucking Christ. Just gonna let the rot keep on ticking. Yo, I just full on strafe it? I can't. Oh! 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 
Nice try. Since Scarlet Rot is proving useful, Poison should be the same. The status applies twice as fast and does its full damage twice as fast. So I gathered a Poison Ash of War to put onto my Ant Spur Rapier, making it do both Poison and Rot buildup. I also picked up the Great Shield Talisman, which will make it so that I use less stamina whenever I block an attack. And I pick up the Strength tier for a little bit of extra damage. Oh boy. Dude. Oh no. Okay, good. Yeah, we found the pattern, baby. You need to actually do some poise damage to him to transition him to phase two. Otherwise, he, he doesn't go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, here comes the phase two. Okay, I really wanted to get Rod on him there. Didn't quite get it. Let's go! Let's go! Radon is gonna be easier because he doesn't do a bunch of magic damage like Renala, right? I I unironically think Radon's actually going to be the easier of the two. We need to get in there, apply status effects, get on the horse, run the fuck away. Okay, there goes the rod. I'm gone. See you later. Oh God, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Woo. Dude, the lightning. Oh my Jesus. Up. Uh God. Woo! Woo! Gave him the rot, baby. Gave him the rot. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Okay. We are. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, we do this until, until the, the sh runs out. Ow. Good. Good. Okay, it's ran out. Now we have a little bit of an awkward conundrum in that he is doing lightning. <laughs> lightning damage. Christ. I just want to heal. I could freeze. Freeze, dude. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Don't fuck me. Don't even think about fucking me. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Now, with access to Lane Dell, I can gather the Blessed Dew Talisman, which normally only generates 2 HP per second, but will now generate 4 HP per second. It's still honestly garbage but it's a good excuse to use a terrible talisman.
The next boss that we'll be facing is Gold Godfrey. This is a huge problem because so far I've been crutching on applying rots and poison, then running away so that I can do damage while being at a safe distance. The issue is Godfrey is immune to all status effects, so I want to get a thrusting weapon that does high base damage and doesn't crutch on status effects unlike the Antsper Rapier. I decided that the best option would be the Godskin Stitcher from the Noble in Volcano Manor. Does he have rots? Yes, he does have rots. All right. Now, phase two is not something that I'm looking forward to. But here we are. Okay, now this one lines up, I believe. What? We gave him rot. I'm out. Ah! Did we give him rot? I'm not even sure. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ooh! Get played! Get played, bitch! We can make our way to Godfrey. Christ. Okay. Oh my God. My guard is just getting broke so often. I'm gone. See you later. Jesus. Oh, no! Fucking cracked. Okay. We want to bait out the jump, I think. But maybe not. Ow. Bro, how? There is, there is literally one piece of furniture in this entire room. And it cucks me. Come on, jump. I believe in you. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. God, it is so hard to react to. Okay, okay, okay. No, no jump baiting. Let's just get in there, hold block, and hope it works. Ow. Ow. Let's go. Gave him rot. I'm out. I'm gone. Ah. Uh. Yeah, bitch.
you! Got the rock key all on ya, buddy. All on ya. Let's go get the the next bell bearings, and then we're heading down to Stinkville. I'm making my way through, bro. Okay. You know, we got we got the shackle. That's all we care about. We need this. Go bing. Bang. I didn't even mean to do that, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm just trying to heal. Ah. No, dude. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do. Okay. What if? What if it's just a normal fight? Normal fight and you just crack out your reaction times. difficult obviously but, but like you have to time the stuff in like six frames because your iframes are like pretty much cut in half oh, the bench okay let's go get serpent hunter spear see if it does anything pray to rngs is that we can do enough stance damage all right back to hell we go great start How often I'm getting screwed by these fucking benches. Bench! Now it's time for the true gaming. You guys have never seen such gaming. How the f did I jump so far? Okay. 
Wie? Ah! 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 Oh! Merry Christmas! I'm here for the genuine PvP experience. Ah! Dude! See you later, health. Holy shit. I'm trying to run, bro. Ah. Ah. Fuck you! This jumping pumpkin head fuck, dude. I'm gone. I'm out. See you later. Okay, she's dead. I just gotta run. I gotta run. I'm out. I'm out. See you later. Okay, there goes the rot. Good. And I'm still running. I ain't playing no games. Lionel and pumpkin head at Ah, don't repost me. God. Okay. Let's let's remember the strats here. Fortunately, we're overleveled. But I think a jump attack should still work. I just have to like think faster. Oh my dear lord. Come on. Bro. Bro. Okay, double heal. Ah! It's so fast. Okay. Getting past Loretta enables me to progress Ronnie's quest. That way I can get the curse mark of death that I use later to access one of the remembrance bosses, Fortisax. Whoo! Get sauced. God damn it. Okay, did we give him? Did we give him rot? No, we just gave him poison. Okay. Damn. Okay, gave him. Fuck! Don't grab me, don't grab me, don't. Fuck, dude! <laughs> this grab attack if he didn't have this grab attack this would be really easy oh my god <laughs> fuck man No! Oh. Oh. Oh.
You gotta be fucking me! Nice grabs there, Chief. Ow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Unfortunately, I I don't think the shield's going to be of much help. What is going on here, dude? What the fuck is happening? All right. This this may not be the pushover boss that I wanted it to be. awkward to hit most of the time so you kind of have to like unlock and hope but i really don't have the time to do that i'd really like to have the time to do that but i don't okay uh, we got poison applied good Getting rod applied would be great. If you wouldn't mind. Please and thank you. Here goes the second heal. Okay, there goes the third heal. I died to a fucking Omega roll there would have not been happy. All right, there we go. I bet we could take out Raycard. After beating Rikard, I finally have the runes to get the 48 strength required to wield the strongest shield in the game, the fingerprint shield. I get 38 strength from levels, 5 from Radigan's sword seal, and another 5 from Star Scourge heirloom before going to take on Fire Giant. Have rot, 
right? I'm pretty sure he does. Okay. I don't know why I was so scared of Fire Giant. Oh boy. All right, you, you know, I'm not I'm not playing any games. I, I see where this is going if I stay on the horse. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go get sleep pods. We're gonna need them. There we go. There we go. Wait, what? What? What the fuck? What happened there? Damn it. Let's not play games there. I don't think this is going to kill him, which is a bit unfortunate. Because it's going to be hard to kill Fatty when he's in phase two. Yeah. I should have just been crutching on the fucking shield more, dude. Messed her up. Oh, he's dead. Block them when they come from below, but not when they come from above. <laughs> okay, yeah. Malekith? Malekith himself? Probably gonna be a big. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ow. Ow. 
guess we can go do like aisle. Ah, I knew you'd come to stand before the elf. What a sad state of affairs. I commend you. Okay. Now, what I should do. What I should do is get this in my offhand. If I actually, ow, if I actually, ow, if I want to keep him stun locked. But I, yeah, I just can't have that reaction speed. Like keeping him stun locked is just not good. So I guess I'm just gonna let it tick down and then try to get in there and clap cheeks. And hope. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Stop with the f nyah, nyah. Nyah, nyah, fuck, bro. Dear Lord. Stop! Nyah, nyah, nyah. You rat. Rot him, dude. My Okay, I suppose we haven't done Renala. I don't know what I'm, I'm drinking this because I'm preparing for Moongrum, the most devastating of opponents. Who's singing? Bro, can I? I can't hit. Jesus Christ. Let me. My God. I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck in this corner. I actually can't move. Okay, there we go.
<sighs> now it's time to gain access to the game's hardest bosses. I start by gathering both secret medallions, going to the consecrated snowfield, heading through the teleporter to Moog's palace, and before taking on the boss, I pick up the purifying crystal tier. I think it's four to six time. Now. 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 Ha! Ah! Dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bro, just give me the poison or the rock. Come on, I believe in you. baby come on all right all it took was being very over leveled yo what is this what is this hitting over me bullshit This fight required a ridiculous amount of experimentation that took hours of theorizing and testing. The big problem is that she heals on hits even when blocking. Because of the speed increase, I can't really dodge her attacks, so I need to figure out a way to outpace her healing. The first idea I had was to use poison and rot instead of bleed so that I could apply the status, then run away so that she wouldn't be healing while the status effects run their course. This didn't do quite enough damage though. I tried to add Sapuku to the mix so that I would be applying poison, rot, and bleed all on the same weapon, but this also was still not doing enough damage even when I respect my character into a more arcane focused build to get more status buildup. So a damage race while blocking was just not going to work. After that, I tried shield crash with bleed buildup, but it's just not very good. And then in order, I tried rivers of blood, blasphemous blade, 
Dragon King's Crag Blade, and Prelate's Inferno Crozier. All of these were either not very good or weren't really melee attacks, so I couldn't use them. But then I gave Troll's Hammer a try, which has a interesting but very difficult to pull off stun lock because it does crazy high stance damage. Unfortunately, the stun lock only works in phase one, so I had to scrap that idea as well. Honestly, at this point, I was thinking I might have to skip Melania, but I gave one final weapon a try, Malekith's Black Blade. Now, it's not perfect, but it did really good damage, knocked Melania over, and is definitely a melee attack. The downside is, Melania has some moves that can hyper armor through the attack and not get staggered, like Waterfowl Dance so I would still have to get a little bit lucky. Since Melania is obviously going to be the hardest boss on the run, I go to take out the rest of the bosses to level up for this fight. Okay, penis. There goes a bleed. I believe he also has... Boys! Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Teleport? No. He's got to be getting close to it, though. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Okay, hold on. I've realized I should probably seppuku. I, was I not blocking? I should have been blocked. I was holding L1. There, there's a grab. We got to be very careful of the grabs. <sighs> you, you just got to react so fucking quick to the... To the grabs. That's it. Fuck. The grabs are just so fast. I did give him rot. I maybe could have just ran away. Oh! Dude, I just wanted to run away. things we want to do here you know pull this out i'm gonna go max level it uh we're also gonna want to go put frostbites on our ant spur rapier so we're gonna have to do that right quick wait it got rid of the scarlet rot build there's a bug with frost infusion. 
That sucks. Well, I believe we prefer rot. I think. I'm, I'm surprised that I got caught by the grab. I, I thought I was maybe just going to get blasted. Oh! Goddamn grabs! Hey, dog, let me heal, please. Fuck. I'm just trying to heal. Nine! Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Lock on, please. I'm just trying to get this fat fucking shield off my ass! What? In what world? I don't buy it. All right, Hyper Zoomer Elden Stars, baby. <laughs> ah, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, we're good. Oh, no, 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 no. Run. One, two. Love to see it. Goodness, bro. Okay, I didn't I didn't realize how how much that whoosh, whoosh move was gonna suck. Everything's fine. Ah, uh, come here. Spin. Now, finally, to take on Melania. I respec into a Faith Strength build for Malekith's Black Blade, pick up the Faith tier, and complete Alexander's quest line to get the Shard of Alexander. Uh, I didn't get any blue flash. Okay, um, maybe we just want to, like, Omega Fat Roll. Sucks that she can do that. Come on. Ow. Like, I'm, I'm literally fucking circling like a dumbass. Waiting for you to go for the waterfowl. And as soon as I press L2, that's when you decide to go for it? Lucky. Why? I'm alive? What? Good 
have seen that one coming. Damn it. Am I on the ground, dude? What am I doing on the ground? Come on, na 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 na. Why? Why is this working like this, man? Oh my god, dude. Since you made it to the end, I think you enjoyed the video. Head down below and hit the join button to become a channel member and get early access to all of my future challenge runs.